Right after the creation of this memorial in 2004, it became one of the most uh, visited sites in the region. Children were asking questions about what happened during genocide, how can you overcome it. The answer we gave to these questions is to create a special program for them. The Peace Building Education that started in 2009 to establish this program was not an easy job to do. The first question was, what kind of message should we give those children who have different backgrounds? Children who came from the side of perpetrators or children who have background as survivors. Getting a common message was a big challenge. The Peace Education Programme is focusing on how we might think differently in times of a division and crisis. What kind of lessons do we use to help students develop the skill of critical thinking? You can't tell someone to be a critical thinker and it'll happen. You can't tell somebody to have empathy and it will happen. It has to come from within. They have to have experiences that help them develop those skills. And that's our goal with the teacher program and also with the student workshops. This is not lessons that is taught in schools. It's not a discussion that is happening in families. And when is it happening? It's not actually in the form of building the person to be really resilient for the future. So the only information they're getting from the memorial during the workshops. <laughs> abahutu abatutse badakwiye kubana nabo kubera ibintu bakoze turi kumwe tukishyira hamwe tukavanga ibintu ntago ari byo aho tuni bari bakwiye natwe twagakwiye kubishyura ariko kubera ibintu twa abandi baje batuganiriza dusanga ahubwo dukwiye kujya hamwe tugasenyera umugozi umwe none tukubaka igihugu we have a good news we have a message to the world the peace education that started here at Kigaljan Sai Memorial it has been expanded to the communities. This outreach program is the extension of on-site program to reach more people. It's not only for students, though it is mainly focusing on them, but also community in general. So when we are together, we base on the exhibition, hearing the stories from people who have gone through, help participants to understand more what happened in the history of Rwanda. Mungu cyemwe ibintu byinshi cyane urebye namenye amateka y'u Rwanda mbere y'ubukoloni ye isomo nakuye nuko nabonye ko nzajya mbana neza nabandi bana kandi bajya nkumeza ukwira kwiza urukundo we say now we can understand that we are all one then we ask them what do you think is your law to change this ideology they say that we will teach our children that they are Rwandanese, they are not Hutu, they are not Tutsi, they are not Tutsi. So after the, the workshop, they are committed to do change in society and to, to be an uh, agent of change. So if it, it gives opportunity to create peace or to promote peace in society, I'm very sure Rwanda will export this program to other countries.